So I wanted to take a few minutes with this video to talk about three interesting PlayStation 5 stories. And if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it. And as always, it's very much appreciated. Now the stories I wanted to dive into today includes major updates coming to the PlayStation 5, including an update that just went live and what changed there, along with potential leaks for the upcoming big update, including of course native Discord integration as we've talked about before, and a power overhaul to the servers. I break down the importance of that here. Along with that, the PlayStation VR 2 has blown away the creator of Oculus VR. First, what is your current hype level for uh, PlayStation VR 2 from 1 to 10? We are weeks away from the launch of the headset, and I'm curious where everyone is after more impressions have come out on the headset. I'm still at a 10, <laughs> but that's just me. What about you guys? So comment below from 1 to 10, what is your current hype level for PlayStation VR 2? Let me know down in the comments below. Now, diving into the first story of the video, PlayStation VR 2 blowing away the creator of Oculus. Reading from PlayStation Universe, PlayStation VR 2 is just around the corner and a lot of folk have managed to go hands-on with sony's new headset recently one of those was palmer luckily uh, lucky founder of oculus who revealed that he was blown away after trying playstation vr2 here's what lucky had to say on twitter which caught the attention of sony's indie boss shuhei yoshida i was blown away when i used playstation vr2 recently the first playstation vr was arguably the best the biggest success of the generation this version will do even better so, for me, this is of course exciting to see such an integral person in VR history comment so highly about PlayStation VR 2. There were already many, 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 many great impressions from various people in the industry and lesser known people thanks to events like CES that just recently happened. But this is of course icing on the cake. I already know the headset is going to be great. PlayStation VR 1 was already a solid headset with a lot of games. Uh, the only problem was the move and the track tracking situation on the headset and of course the resolution but that's one thing of the time but move and tracking was a a big issue there those have been resolved for playstation vr 2 along with resolution power haptics triggers etc playstation vr 2 is just weeks away and I'm excited. Now, diving into the second story of the video, new PS5 update now live. So out of nowhere, we got an update for the PlayStation 5 to prepare for an upcoming major accessory release. Reading from Video Game Chronicle, Sony has released a new firmware update for the PlayStation 5. This version 22.02-0650, so update 6.50 really, uh, adds support for the upcoming DualSense Edge wireless controller. As is often the case with system updates, it also improves system performance, though it isn't made clear what this entails which is <laughs> the usual case uh the new update is rolling out now vgc can confirm it's already available on our playstation 5 console so i've updated my playstation 5 as well this version should be live for everyone in terms of what i found all i saw was a change in the accessories menu if you go to advanced settings and scroll to related settings you'll see it say display function menu and it states the it states this under that when using your DualSense Edge wireless controller, display the function menu by pressing the function button. The function buttons are the buttons underneath the sticks for the DualSense Edge that allow you to quickly access system settings like increasing volume or changing haptics uh, vibration level. Beyond this, there are also obviously a lot of other menus on the PlayStation 5 that I assume will show up when you have a DualSense Edge connected, as we've seen in first impression videos not too long ago. Uh, we're again Getting close to the launch of the controller, which drops on January 26th. But you guys let me know if you're getting the DualSense Edge controller or not at launch. Let me know down in the comments below. And now diving into the final story of the video, the next major PlayStation 5 update features leak. So there is a new report on the next big update from the PlayStation 5 possibly landing in March. Reading from PlayStation Lifestyle, according to Insider Gaming, a site that is consistently reliable when reporting on leaks in the gaming industry, its sources state that the upcoming PlayStation 5 7.00 update will feature both full dual uh, Discord implementation and support for streaming PlayStation 5 games. I know streaming is not very interesting to some people, but let's pay attention to this one the site sources state that a public beta for the 7.0 system update will begin in the coming days with it ending on january 30th apparently the discord functionality will not be active in the beta the ps5 7.00 uh, firmware update is expected to launch on march 8th i'll also add this from insider gaming themselves in addition to the discord integration sources have revealed that playstation 5 games will also be streamable on the playstation 5 via cloud streaming to save that all important 
drive space. It was said that this feature will be included in the PlayStation Plus Premium tier, obviously. Uh, the feature under the name Project uh, Kronos has been in development and testing for a number of months, sources revealed. So, a couple of things to break down here. One, the beta releasing in the coming days and ending on January 30th is very abnormal and doesn't follow any trends from PlayStation for I don't know how long. This would put the public beta testing at possibly less than two weeks. If it happens, it happens, of course. It just doesn't sound right to me. Usually they give you more than a month to test out the, the beta, even when they've had betas with not a lot of features changing. But of course, let's see how this one goes. Two, the Discord integration we've talked about already and it not being in the beta is interesting. It's a pretty big feature. I'd assume they'd want to test it out. And three, the big one here is PlayStation 5 Cloud Streaming. I saw many people kind of gloss over this one. This right here is confirming Sony has updated their cloud service with PS5 server blades. And I assume decommissioning PS4 server blades since the PS5 can run both. Right now, streaming is maxed out at 1080p. Of course, because of the PlayStation 4, Sony needed to overhaul their service with PS5 to boost performance to potentially 4K and 60fps outputs, maybe even 120 this will uh, bring solid latency improvements and make streaming even better but if you don't care about streaming this also brings me back to playstation 3 emulation this right here outside of people like moore's law is dead or jeff grubb saying sony is working on ps3 emulation this right here tells me logically sony will have to create an emulator for the playstation 3 they have uh, they have to at one point shut down those PS3 server blades they have on there so everything is running on the PlayStation 5 server blades across the board to potentially take advantage of the performance gains. This right here is another big step towards that and the PS3 emulation situation and the server blades situation, this is what makes sense. They have to make an emulator to shut down the server blades to move everything over to PlayStation 5. If they want to do that, I'm sure of course they want to do that. I'm excited to try it out uh, and see how well the latency has improved it's interesting uh, they need a playstation 5 software update since this this will all be server side i assume maybe it's just ui changes on the playstation 5 i guess to give you more options for resolution uh, we'll see but this is a big step whether you're a fan of cloud streaming or you want to play via local emulation but you guys let me know if you're excited for discord integration or not let me know down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy this video please hit that like button as it always helps and subscribe if you're new i got new videos every monday wednesday and friday and now i'll check you guys out on the next one and welcome back to the after show this is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below if you're old welcome back if you're new welcome for today's thing what i want you guys to do is the body obliterate destroy and overall harass the comment section with bring on the weekend the weekend is here gaming time is here time to relax chill and play our video games if you guys are excited for the weekend destroy the comment section with a bring on the weekend and i'll definitely heart those comments like i always do because i appreciate everybody who stays at the end of my videos and now i'll check you guys out on the next one